A standard class is the result of typecasting a value of any type to an object. It won't have any methods, but it will have values. If you typecast an object to an object, it will not be modified. If you typecast an array to an object, the result will be an object with properties named for the keys of the array, with the values corresponding to the array values. Let's clean up the demo file a bit now and remove the copy and clone test code. Create a test standard class object out of a nested array. Echo, H2, testing, type casting to an object. Test object equals object. This is the type casting array. Hello is the key and world as the value. Then nested is an array key value. Then debug the test object. Save, then refresh your browser. The result will be a standard class with properties hello and nested, with nested containing an array. For any other data type, the value will be converted to a standard object with one property named scalar. Return to the demo and replace the array definition with a number 12345. Save and refresh. The test object now has one property, scalar, with the value 12345. Standard class objects are practically used in a number of ways. For example, returning a defined data structure with fixed branches without nesting. Sometimes it's used as a shorthand to speed code development as it takes less characters to access a property than it does to specify a key. Finally, you can use a standard object when interacting with a method that is looking for an object with particular properties but isn't actually checking for the class. In the next video, I will show you how to load objects directly from the database, then intelligently load addresses from the database into the correct class.